Hello and welcome. One of my old videos has recently picked up a lot of new views, so I decided what better way to get back into making videos than to use that project idea again, but instead of just making four arrowheads, I decided to go and make a whole bunch out of an old saw blade. Come and watch me as I made them, how I made them. Come and watch me. This rusty old saw is going to become the stock for my arrowheads. Before I could get into cutting and shaping I had to remove the rust and I used an angle grinder with a wire brush to do that. If you do it this way make sure you wear a respirator and eye protection as you don't want to have one of those wires sticking in your eyes. I used stencils and spray paint to transfer the arrowheads to the saw. In hindsight I would do it differently because I wasted a lot of material and the result wasn't as precise as I hoped. It was time for a change so I got rid of that wire brush and replaced it with a 1mm cutoff disc. To make it easier to work with I removed the ends and then cut the saw into four smaller pieces. To make the shaping easier I decided to make the pieces even smaller and continue to cut and 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 cut As I've mentioned before the whole stencil and spray paint thing didn't really work out that well and I had to repaint quite a few of them and those are notably yellow. It's nothing special about yellow, it's just that's what I had on hand. When I started shaping I thought more about interesting camera angles, not so much what would work in terms of process. So that is the result. Um, it's not very comfortable to use the angle grinder this way and the resulting product isn't that good as you can see here. So I changed my process and this is what I used for the bulk of the arrowheads. I used two angle grinders, one with the cutoff disc and the other one with the uh, with a grinding disc. The bulk of the shaping was done on a bench grinder and to avoid losing the temper of the steel I had to make sure I don't overheat the steel, cooling it frequently and not using too much pressure. Not using too much pressure is another thing because you might end up with your finger in that wheel which is not pleasant at all. Trust me. In this close up you can actually see how precise you can actually be with the bench grinder in removing material and achieving a good result. Everybody knows sanding is boring so I won't bother you with too much of it and instead speed this part of the video up and we can get to the next thing. I used a 40 grit belt to make sure the edges were straight and then started to create the bevels. Since the material was just one millimeter thick I decided not to go too crazy on those bevels. To shape the round parts of the arrowheads I clamped my rotary tool into a vise and used it as a stationary tool which worked very well. I used a 240 grit belt to clean up the bevels and in order to avoid overheating and ruining the temper I had to take very shallow passes and not use too much pressure especially in the tip area which gets burned up very quickly if you don't take care of what you do. To polish the bevels I used a 400 grit belt and changed the grind direction which resulted in a very nice finish as you can see here. After that it was back to the sander for a rough satin finish. I 
I decided to experiment with a blackening solution which is also used as a gun bluing solution. This gave the arrowheads a matte black finish. As you can see, I had to use quite a bit of it to get an even uh, surface finish. After that, I polished the bevels again with a 2000 grit belt. And here they are. This has been one of my most time consuming projects so far. I'm very happy how they turned out, and I hope you like them and leave me a nice comment down below. This is how I would go about attaching those arrowheads to an arrow. You can do it without power tools, but I like to use them because I have them and they save me a lot of time. So, instead of explaining every little bit of this step, I would much rather you go down in the description, check the link to the Instructable where I explain everything in detail, and I have also added a few additional pictures. Although I showed you how to make those arrowheads yourself, I would also appreciate if you could check out my Facebook store where I'm going to sell those arrowheads. So if you're interested, get in touch and then I will more than happily sell one or two or all of them to you if you want them. Make sure you also check the link to my Instagram where I post regular updates behind the scenes, work in progress and experiments that might not make it on the channel. Also a link to my Patreon if you want to support me, help me make more stuff. Um, or my Facebook, obviously get in touch if you have suggestions or ideas. Please leave me a like if you liked the video, if you didn't like it leave me a thumbs down and I would appreciate every comment that you have. Thank you very much for watching, have a great time, bye bye.